welcome to Lady. This is our newly built home on wheels. The most recent one built by SD Camper Vans. This is a toilet closet drawer combo. Drawer space, closet space. So that, a bar will go here, hang coats, jackets, t-shirts, just extra space. We have a broom closet, so that's cool. I don't see very many broom closets in, in vans. We have magnetic locks so that nothing flies open. Yeah, this is great. This is Bree, she comes with the van. <laughs> um, the ladies van. Okay, this is the kitchen. So we moved from the bathroom to the kitchen and we have truck fridge with freezer. So we have no drawer handles right now because we just got it and we're still deciding. But this is a drawer specially made for a cutting board. This drawer here, you can't have a full drawer because the sink's in the way. So we made a little soap sponge holder. And then you have your standard cabinet under the sink. We have this big water heater. This is a gray water tank. Our fresh water tank is mounted under the van. This is where we put our shoes. So I can do tricks like this. Or like this. Or like this. What are your thoughts about all that? <laughs> you no, <know> nothing. I can't even. So here's a swivel seat. It's nice because if we need our privacy, we can just go in our own corner of the van. It's nice and cozy. <laughs> I'm out of the closet. If you're wondering if the furniture or the cabinetry in here is sturdy, let me show you. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you this drawer because there's a wheel well there, so you can't get a full drawer. There you go. How cool is that? You can put anything in there. Anything. <laughs> One of the main concerns with being on the road for a long period of time is where you store your valuables. And what we decided to do was have this safe that's bolted into the foundation of the van. So the safe is under here. When we need to get to it, most people don't even know this is a drawer. And then you open it and the safe is in there and um, it's bolted in. You can't move the safe, um, so don't try. <laughs> this is a special magnetic key that you can just hide somewhere. And if someone does break into your van and they wanna steal some stuff, they're gonna be like, what the heck? I can't open anything and they're always in a rush and they're not gonna be able to open anything. The way to unlock it is you have to find the magic key and you just stick it there and then you can open it. Now, if you're parked for a long time and that gets annoying, you can unlock it and that way you can open and close as you need. And then once you hit the road again, or if you leave to go on a hike, go to a hot spring, you're nervous about where you parked, no one can open your drawers anyway. This is the big drawer. Okay, this is a stove. <laughs> Look, all the options. Watch this, you ready? Uh. We specially requested to have these cabinets go all the way down so we can put long items in there, like we can put our skis and our snowboards or our long chairs or a hammock. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. Welcome to the bedroom. No, it's not a bedroom, it's a dining room. Yeah. But it could also be a yoga mat. One of the most important parts of the van for us is the living room. And we made it so this bed's six feet. And the reason we did that instead of a five foot bed was so that we could One, fit eight people in two. here. Because we really love hosting people. Four. <laughs> We really love hosting people. Uh, I really like cooking and playing games. And um, a lot of times when it's cold outside, we just come in here and chill. We decided to put the table on a legume pedestal because 
we wanted to be able to move it around and twist it and um, in case we want to take it away that way we can walk all the way through and this actually turns into our bed Now our cushions are four inch high density foam and the fabric that we use is water resistant stain repellent. So it's really durable, high quality fabric. You definitely don't wanna go cheap on this. The standard SCCV comes in a five foot bed, but we wanted a six foot, well Brie wanted a six foot bed. <laughs> but I, I'm not mad. Oh, I fit. And she can actually lay across. Lacey is five foot six, and she can lay across that way. In this van, we decided to put a 3000 watt inverter. These are Battleborn lithium batteries, 300 watts altogether. We have 350 watts, 175, 275 watt solar panels on top. Regular plugs, but also USB ports. Um, the lights can dim. Everything in here is very energy efficient. So our refrigerator is a 12 volt ref refrigerator. Um, takes very little amperage to stay cold. Lacey's favorite part of the van is the roof. The roof. <laughs> Lacey says the roof rack doubles our square footage. And it kind of does because now we have our own patio to watch sunsets and Lacey can do yoga on the roof, which she doesn't really do but it's a luminous. It is built for the Ford Transit Extended um, and a luminous cut holes exactly where our fans are so that they can still open all the way. Well, this is the most wonderful part of the van. It's pretty nice. We want to put a mat up here, and like then, a grass pad, so we can come up here and lay down and look at the stars. Yeah, we can lay, uh, it's as big as our bed. Oh yeah. We built this, or we customized it, to everything that we wanted it to be. And at SD Camper Vans, we really want to be able to do that for you. So if you have any questions, um, you want to see what it'll take to get yourself one of these, or you want to build your dream home on wheels, just contact us. Thank you. We're going to go. We're going to go on an adventure now. We're going to. Bye. We're going to go. Bye. See ya. See ya next time.